This video has been recorded using the Davo DVC 100. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tyler from the channel of Super Brahma and. What? Pumpkin? P pumpkin? What? 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 Pumpkin? What? So, Nintendo is about to announce, or they already did announce, their newest handheld console, which will come out in October of this year. It's gonna be called the Nintendo D2DS. Uh, I had the article right in front of me, and this is. Stupid, let me just read it for you. Nintendo has announced the 2DS today, a new entry level handheld system. The 2DS will be available for $129.99 on October 12th, the same day as Pokemon X and Y, and features a slate like design rather than the clamshell seen on DS and 3DS models. Kinda like this. The 2DS is fully compatible with all 3D and DS games but does not include the ability to display games in 3D. It still features all the functionality of 3DS, Wi-Fi, local multiplayer, etc. and can be put to sleep using a slider that replicates clo the closing clamshell on a standard 3DS. Wi-Fi can still be turned off, though it's done via controls in the software rather than with a physical switch. Ah, why are they doing this? It's, it looks... it's like they're... It seems like they're trying to compete with the tablet. Imagine the standard 3DS laid all the way flat, and with the depth slider all the way down. Nintendo of America President Reggie Phil's aim explained to IGN, everything else is there in the system. So basically, they're trying to copy the tablet. The 2DS will launch in red and blue models to start and will be sold alongside the standard 3DS, still available for $170 and 3DS Extra Large, $200, I, I hated that idea. It will include a 4GB SD card and uses the same power source as, 3, as 3DS and DSi. It also includes two cameras on the back side, so AR games still function and players can still take 3D photos. They simply can't be displayed on the 2DS, but are still viewable in 3D if transferred to 3DS. The 2DS only includes one speaker, which plays mono sound, but features stereo via its headphone jack. According to Phil's aim, the idea for the 2DS came from wanting to appeal to younger consumers, as the standard 3DS is aimed at players age 7 and up. We're always thinking about what we can do that's new, unique, different, and brings more people into this category that we love, Phil's aim said. And so with the Nintendo 3DS, we were clear to parents that, hey, we recommend that your child shouldn't be 7 and older to utilize this device. So six, you're saying 6 year olds can't do this? They can't operate a machine? So clearly that creates an opportunity for 5 year olds, 6 year olds, that, that first time handheld gaming consumer. Yeah, but they said 7 and up. So, I don't know what, you're, you're just contradicting yourself right there, Phil Zane. We've always been thinking about how do we approach that as one target, he continued, and that certainly helped spur the idea of Nintendo 2DS. Let's have the computer consumer have access to all these great games, Mario Kart 7, Animal Crossing, but do it in a 2D compatible compatibility with a device that has a dramatically lower price point. That's just an example of how we're always thinking about how do we get more people playing games? How do we get more people playing Nintendo games? Stop making games that are for people that stop making games that are not interesting. Like yes, there are some games that are kind of interesting, but most of them suck. At least for the Wii U. There is nothing good on the Wii U right now except for like um oh wait, no. There is none. It looks like a freaking tablet. If I wanted to play the 2DS, I'd rather get the freaking get tablet before I buy that. Ah, man, the stupidity with Nintendo rises higher and higher each year. Or hell, for Nintendo, for for this, it's each month. Dear God, what were they thinking? It's just to copy the tablet. It, uh, it's obviously they're trying to copy with the tablet. Let's make games that are for younger audience, or make actually make games for consumers. Okay, one, make games that are interesting. Two, if you're trying to trying to go for the hardcore gamers, you're failing. Horribly. 
And three, do not copy the tablet, because there, there's a likely chance that these people will buy a tablet before they buy this. <sighs> I really don't want it. Uh, I'm too tired to even really talk about it much. I just say that uh, if you want to do this, if you want to go out and buy a 2DS, I'd suggest go get a tablet because it's the exact same fucking thing. Anyways, guys, make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. This is Tyler from the channel Zebra Brahma, signing out. Peace.